Hello guys, welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, I'm going to solve question four of ISC 2017 Computer Applications paper. So this is the question in front of you. Give it a reading. Okay. So after you give it a reading, like they they you can you may you may have any doubts or questions. So the only thing that may confuse some people or it confuses me as well is that the rate to be calculated for the given units. So it says for the first hundred units, the rate is fixed at two. For the next two hundred at three. So if the units is say suppose uh two ninety three, so the first hundred will be calculated at two, and the next one ninety three that is two ninety three minus the first hundred will be calculated at three, and then above three hundred it will be five. So you have to keep this in mind that uh, you do the right calculation. Okay. And a surcharge of two point five percent is the number of units consumed is above three hundred that is greater than three hundred. Okay. And it says void accept. So you can see this void accept does not take any parameters. So I'm going to assume that I have to open something to read input from the user inside accept, accept the name and the number of units, and then close that uh, object to read the input. Okay. So because this accept is not taking any parameters. Okay. So that is what I'm what I'm assuming. So I'm going to write this on a text file first. This question uh, solution on a text file first, then copy it to a Java file and test it. Okay. Okay, so has class electric bill. Okay, and it has instance members string and int unit double bill. So instance members always keep them private. Private string and string string and store name of the customer. To store the number of units used, private int units. Okay. So also keep in mind that you need keep the name of the variables, the class exactly same as given in the question. So see, my electric bill is exactly the same. My private instance variables n and units are exactly the same, and so will be the bill to store the bill. Private double bill. Okay. Okay. So member methods are void, accept, and void calculate. And member methods, I always say that keep them public. So this does not has any constructor here. So I'm going to, just going to add the public methods. Accept public void accept. Okay. So I'm going to import. So always leave ample blank spaces when you are writing code on a, pay, uh, a sheet of paper because uh, you may want to come back and add certain things, and you don't want to make your code messy because presentation in a class tenth paper is absolutely important. So import Java dot. Okay, I'll just use util dot scanner for myself. Scanner, or you can use uh, you can use uh, Java.io.bufferreader or data input stream. Okay, so I create a scanner class object to read data from the user scanner. Scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in Okay, read the name first. Ask for the name. System dot out dot print. Enter the name of the customer. Okay, string and n is equals to. Since we already have the variable for storing the name, we are going to directly do n is equals to scanner dot next line. Okay. Ask for the units. System. Dot out. Dot. Print. The the number of units. And I have units is equals to scanner dot next int. Okay. 
so make sure, so here we are doing the next line first and next end after that so if you had ha if you would have next end first and next line after that so you will have to you would have to read that extra change in line that next end uses so i've prepared a video to tackle next line and next end you can check it out in my set of videos added okay so we have read the name and the units and you don't need to read anything more so i'm going to close the scanner see even if you don't close the scanner it does not matter much because you're in class 10th only but it's a good coding practice it gives a good impression to the examiner that you are aware of the coding practices basic coding practices scanner dot also i'm making typos but you guys are not allowed to make typos because you will be having a pen okay so the first accept is done and i guess it's cool because scanner scanner yeah it looks fine to me read the name first Enter the name of string and scan. Okay. System dot in the name of the name. Okay. New scanner. Okay. 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 So now I have to calculate. Complete the calculate method. Okay. Public void calculate. Oh, there is a void print as well. Okay. There is a third void print. So public void calculate and first hundred for uh, two next 200 for three and about 300 for four okay so set the bill to zero first so bill is equals to 0, 0.0 okay calculate the bill for the first hundred okay okay so i'm just adding spaces enough for myself Okay, so now you have to see that the bill is greater than 100 or less than 100. So what you can do is, uh, so if it is greater than 100, you will need that extra, those extra set of values in that uh, to calculate the bill or you can simply do if units is less than 100, okay. If units is less than 100, less than or equal to 100 because it's for the first 100, right first 100 okay less than equal to 100 because when it goes after 100 we start with 3 per unit okay so if units is less than equal to 100 bill is simply equal to 2.0 into units okay and we return that is my bill is calculated because units are less than equal to 100 and i do not need to do anything more else if this condition is false so the control comes here the return the control does not return from this method add bill for the first hundred okay so bill plus is equals to 2.0 into 100 units okay and update the units so units minus equals to 100 okay so if units were less than equal to 100 right if they were only less than equal to 100 i calculate the bill as 2.0 into whatever number of units are and i return and i don't need do not need to do any more calculation if it is greater than 100 so i'll have to add the bill for the first 100 first so i don't have to so i just uh, directly take the value of 100 first 100 units multiply it by 2 per unit and add it to my current bill and then i update the units by removing the first 100 units okay now update Okay, now you have to check if the units are less than 200. That is, if they are within less than with they are within the range of 300. So check are uh, less than 200. Okay, so if units is less than equal to 200. Okay, so this is after we have removed the first hundred. So this means that original units had to be under 300. Okay, so I add update my bill bill plus is equals to 3.0 into 100 okay and i return into 200 so into units sorry not the units okay so what this is doing it this is adding the bill of the next 200 units to it okay so if the control comes here that means the original units were less than 300 less than equal to 300 and they, the control is returned if the control reaches on line 64 right in that case the units were more than 300 so date the bill okay so what i do is bill 
plus is equal to 3.0 into 200 okay update the units units minus equals to 200 okay and whatever be the remaining units are are to be charged at 5 per unit so now add the bill for remaining units okay units so bill plus equals to units into 5.0 okay and now you have to add a surcharge add a surcharge okay so adding a surcharge will only happen if the number of units are greater than 300 because if the number of units are less than 300 the control will stay till here and it will return on 61 if the number of units are less than equal to 100 it will return at line 48 so adding a surcharge is a surcharge is okay so add surcharge so bill plus is equal to 0 0.0 0.025 or 2.5 into bill okay and nothing more is to be done because my bill is calculated and then I have the void print method okay so public void print okay so it says name of the customer number of units customer see So system dot out dot print sorry not print length name plus n okay the units oh so just because see now that's why I told you to leave ample spaces because we already used the use the unit so by by this point units are minus 300 or units are minus 200 or units are minus 100 so in that case what you can do is value oh, set some temp value to units int p is equal to units and at the end of every calculation what you can do is so here units are uh, units are not changing so what you can do is before returning you can set units is equals to t so units equals to t and again at the last units is equals to t okay so system dot out dot println units number of units consumed okay so I will try to keep my output as close as possible to the one given in the question print the bill so bill amount system dot out dot print ln bill amount bill amount oh plus bill okay and my class ends here so I don't need all these extra spaces okay so this is my electric bill class and I think everything is fine here okay okay mm, okay okay Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, this line is not needed. So even if you remove because after T is to set to units, units is not change anywhere. So units will stay the same here. So you can remove this. It is not needed. Okay, and then you have update the bill, update the units. Then you check if units are less than or equal to three hundred. Update the units again. Update the bill again. So the units which is greater than 300 you update bill then you update units again and then you update bill again and then add such charge okay 
looks fine to me and then I have to add a main method to create an object and call above member methods okay. so so you can write the main method right in this method in this class as well you can simply add a main or I'll write a main method outside so class ICSC 2017 question 4 okay and then I have public static void void main string rgs okay and then create an object of electricity bill okay so electric bill eb is equal to new electric bill okay call accept eb dot accept okay then call calculate eb dot calculate call print eb dot print okay this is what we have and uh, I guess this is the solution. So I'm just going to quickly copy this to a Java file and check if this was correct. Okay, so I'll just check one more check before I start compiling it. There's no typo anywhere. Scanner looks fine. Extend dot order from the more calculate and teach message bill. Zero fitness less than equal to zero two. Okay, return two into hundred, fitness minus one hundred means Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. To see to be oh, see, there's an extra period here. I did not do that. Okay, we got lucky. Okay, Let's copy again. This okay. So, I'm going to just compile and check if this was correct. So, I have Java C. Ah, static void main was wrong. Oh my god, that's a silly mistake. Okay, so you, you lose maybe a marks there if you do that. Okay, so Java ASC 2017 question 4. Name of the customer is BK. I'll add my name and I use say 293 units. Okay. So my bill amount is 779 how huh? because for the first hundred it was two right so it was 200 and that's for next 193 it was three so 193 into 3 is will give you 19 3 55 79 so 579 plus 200 will be 779 is okay let me check for another case uh, bal krishna and i will add number units to maybe 80 only so see 18 to 2 is 160 because the first 100 I'll just make it 100 so first 100 are 200 and then just make it oh, more than 300 so make it 301 oh let's go enter my name first 301 okay so 301 how does it come to 8 put to 5 so 300 so 100 for the first 200 this 200 uh, 300 for the next 200 will be 600 so 800 okay and one for the next five so 805 805 plus 2.5 percent of 805 is 825.125 so this is the solution so i hope this video was helpful so please do like this video subscribe to my channel for more such videos and make sure you do you don't make any typos like i did here okay okay thank you for thank you so much for watching and do subscribe to my channel thank you